Hi and welcome to MA Fly Time. If you are new to the channel, thank you very much for joining me for the first time. And if you are a return subscriber, thank you very much for your continued support. Hopefully, if you've not already subscribed, you do enjoy the video. I decide to hit that subscribe button. Um, now I was on Skirmley, um Fishery up in Scotland yesterday, so first time that I visited uh, the water south in North Ayrshire, run by a guy called John um, on arrival. Um, welcome me to, to the fishery, give me a bit of advice what was going on and what was working and um, had a bit of a chat with him. Um, it's well worth going across um, and giving Skelmory uh, a go. It's absolutely stuffed with fish and one of the things that I was really, really impressed with was the quality of the fish. Um, probably the hardest fighting fish that I've had from a, a small still water and they were in cracking condition. Um, ended up with nine or ten fish, something along those lines, and every one of them, bar one, came to uh, dries. So I thought I would I thought I would tie you the two flies that worked for me yesterday. Um, I do have some uh, footage as well that I'll be putting up on the channel. Uh, it takes a wee bit more time to edit those videos. Um, but in the meantime, have a go with these these two flies, and I just want to explain um, how I was fishing them and what I was doing with the CDC in the front of it. So when my wee girls just come in, hello, you all right? Okay, right, let's get tying. So just a black thread that I'm using, and this is a size 12. It wasn't size 12s that I was fishing yesterday. Um, it was size... 16s and 18s but for the purposes of the video um i'll tie it on size 12. so black thread on and then we need to get our cold day ready so this is where the interesting part came yesterday so the fish were up um from pretty much as soon as i got there and they were feeding on small um, small buzzers that were just emerging off the water. And as I said, I was fishing some size 16 and 18 coldies. Now the report from the day before that was that um, sussy buzzers had been working. Um, but I decided to go out with a couple of small shuttlecocks. So we'll get our CDC tied in. And I'm deliberately tying this longer than I would usually, okay? And there's a there's a reason for that, because I want to show you um, what this looks like in the water. Because what was happening yesterday, pretty early on, was the fish were coming up and nosing the flies are splashing at the flies, not really committing to them, which is a wee bit frustrating, and you'll see that in the video. Um, so they were almost pushing the flies away, or, or playing with them. And uh, I wasn't getting the, the fish to hook up. So what I decided to do was cut down the CDC. So that CDC is quite long, there's probably five or six plums in it and there wasn't a big wave in the water so these were sitting quite proud um on the top so you could see them no problem but the problem was the fish just weren't confident enough to come and take them off the top and that was resulting in not not hooking up but getting offers so what's the answer in that situation? And that's uh, not to necessarily change a fly because obviously they were coming up for a look. So there was something that they did like about it, but it just wasn't sitting properly for them. So I've just used flexi floss for the body, same as what you would do with a Vicar buzzer. And then I'm using this stuff here. This is a moleskin, black moleskin that I'm using. Just for the thorax. And this is quite a fine material here, a very fine material. So you can create a nice small thorax heads in these flies. So you don't want a lot of this. 
remember this time of the year the buzzers are the buzzers are small so you want to present a small fly for them so that's that's us got the fly tied okay we'll get it what finished and then on to the next bit so i'll show you i'll show you what i mean i'm going to take this out of the vise and hopefully the camera is set up properly let's see if we can get this down here i might need to play about with this a little bit one second there we go that's a bit better right so this is obviously the surface film on the water and there's the caldy so putting that in there what you'll see is you'll see your caldy is sitting quite proud in the water okay so hopefully you can see that and we'll hopefully if we've got it right get the camera positioned properly so what was happening is the fish were coming up they were nosing the fly they weren't coming up over the top of it they were just pushing the fly away and that meant that we weren't hooking up with any of the fish that were there but they were definitely interested in the in the fly so answers and how do you overcome that well if you remember that fly was sitting up quite proud what i'll do okay is i'm going to just take a little bit of the cdc off and let's see what happens right so now the fly's sitting a little bit lower in the water okay still sitting up pretty pretty high you'll be able to see it at distance but again what's happening with this is we're still pushing it away so at that point sussy buzzers probably were the right answer but not everybody's got them in their box sussy buzzers just a sugar cube it's got a bit of foam on the top of it and it just presents it a little bit differently so we'll go go ahead and we'll take it down to about 50 percent of the uh the length of the cdc and we'll see again it's sitting down a bit further okay and we kept on doing that until what happened was hopefully i can demonstrate this as we ended up with the fly just in the film of the water okay so you can't actually see that at all hopefully you can see it there but you can just see the top of the the shuttlecock okay obviously this hasn't been treated so a little bit of um floating on that and it will it will sit up for you okay but that's how the flies were sitting so they were sitting lower in the water very similar to a um sugar cube or a sussy don't get me wrong they won't sit there all day so there is a bit more effort that's required when you're drying off the flies because they will eventually sink and if any amount of wave I don't mean a ripple but a wave in the water you won't be able to keep them up but you'll see the difference of where that fly is now sitting so when the fish are nymphing and they're just taking sub subsurface and you want to fish dries you don't have any sussies um, or you do have sussies um, take off the, the shuttlecock put on your sussy and uh, it should result in uh, more hookups that was the answer yesterday and hopefully you'll see that in the video so guys if you found that interesting if you found it um that when you're out fishing dries that you haven't managed to hook up but they are coming up to them give it a go let me know how you got on and hopefully that's been helpful for you so we'll put that to the side so that you can actually see me um i'm going to tie another couple of flies we'll get them on um but if you're not already subscribed please hit the subscribe now button button and if you've enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up thanks guys and tight lines